Hi. I got a tape I'd like to play. No. Uh, my name is Mike English, and I'm here to talk about media over quick and my contribution to this emerging standard in Rust. But first, Jordy is giving a talk tomorrow. Uh, he has more time than I do, so I'm gonna leave some of these details for Jordy to go into. Definitely attend Jordy's talk. How did I get here? So, here's some of the places that I've worked in the past. Um, Atomic Object was a custom software consultancy. Um, Limelight, CDN. Uh, that's where I got thrown into the video realm. Um, got thrown into the deep end, uh, building a WebRTC-based uh, broadcast platform, a one-to-many CDN scale WebRTC ultra low latency solution. Um, and learned a lot. Uh, and also learned that I like video. So that brought me to Mux. And then this summer, I applied and was accepted to a program called the Recurse Center. And for those of you who are not aware, uh, the Recurse Center is kind of like a writer's retreat for programmers. So if you're a programmer, and you'd like to get better at programming, um, you can apply. And if you're accepted, uh, you can spend six or 12 weeks uh, working on whatever it is that you want to work on, um, fun stuff, in a community of like-minded peers. Um, so you can bounce ideas off of other people, you can learn from other people, and you can pair program. Um, it's really great, highly recommended. All right, so let's get into what is Meteor real quick, anyways? And again, Jordy is giving a talk tomorrow, so some of the details I'm gonna skip over. Attend his talk. So let's start with Quick. So Quick is the underlying transport protocol that we're dealing with here. Um, Quick is a relatively new transport protocol. Uh, for context, TCP was introduced in the 70s, and Quick was formalized in RFC 9000 in 2021. So it's been a while since we've had this level of change. Uh, also, it's RFC 9000, which means that everything that comes after Quick is now beyond 9000. So Quick uh, gives us stream multiplexing with independent logical streams, which means we don't have connection-wide head-of-line blocking uh, like we have with TCP. So we have reliable order delivery within the streams, and then between the streams, it's unordered. Uh, it's also end-to-end -end encrypted, and it runs over UDP. Media over Quick is a working group that was formed in 2022 um, to build on top of that Quick protocol and take advantage of some of these features for media delivery and for media contribution. Um, it merged together several drafts um, Rush from Facebook, Meta, Warp from Twitch, Quicker from Cisco. Um, we've taken all those together and we now have two main base specs that we're working from. There's the mock transport spec and there's a streaming format spec that Will Law is working on. So mock transport is kind of the, the base layer uh, and this is designed to be generic. So this is like what CDNs implement. They don't necessarily care what your media types are exactly. Um, they just need to know what are the semantics for delivering these objects. Um, so mock transport defines control messages and how to send objects. And then we layer on top of that streaming formats. So the streaming formats, uh, that's where you have your mapping of like, okay, what codecs do I have? And what tracks do I have? It defines a manifest like thing called a catalog. Um, and that gives you a way to you know, describe your media. So this layers on top of the transport, mock transport. All right, so here's kind of the landscape of latencies that we're dealing with today. Um, most of the delivery that we have is HTTP based, dash HLS. Uh, typical latencies that you can get from these technologies get down to like, what, maybe like five seconds uh, under good conditions. Um, but HTTP gives you 
really great cost efficiencies um, because it's cacheable. You can have CDNs fan out your delivery. Um, at the other end of the spectrum, we have video conferencing, um, WebRTC. Um, but then there's a bunch of use cases that kind of like fall in this gap. Uh, and we've used things like WebRTC for streaming these uh, types of uh, use cases at scale. Um, but it's an awkward fit. WebRTC is tuned more for video conferencing. Um, and it tends to trade off in favor of low latency, um, when maybe you would like to be a little bit further towards quality. Um, depends on, on your use case. So why mediocre quick? Now is the time to do something, right? So like, we have a new transport protocol. People are retooling things already to, to deal with HTTP3 delivery. Um, that doesn't happen every day. Media Over Quick gives us the ability to design for flexible latency trade-offs. So uh, when we look at WebRTC kind of pinned in most implementations, the browser implementations tend to be pinned to this video conferencing level of latency. That may not be what you want when you're broadcasting sports or you know, some live event. You might want a little bit more quality, um, even as you want relatively low latency. Um, so Media Over Quick is designed to give you the ability to make that decision. Um, and caching, right? These latencies, typically you can't have caching, so you can't have that low cost. Media Over Quick is designed to provide that. I really like this picture. Um, it comes from a, a survey that I'll, I'll uh, have in, in a slide at the end here. Um, but this is, the, this is the gist of what we're getting at, right? So we want really low latency. And we want scalability. Media Over Quick is, is attempting to, to bridge that gap. All right, so Media Over Quick in Rust. I mentioned I was doing Media Over Quick in Rust. Now, uh, I have been interested in Rust for a long time, but I haven't had a really good project to like dig in and do something substantial. So this summer when I said, OK, if I can work on anything at the Recurse Center, I want to do Media Over Quick because that's, you know, very, uh, very interesting to me, given my background in trying to do this with WebRTC, um, trying to solve this problem of ultra low latency delivery. And I want to do it in Rust, because I really like this language. Um, why Rust? Well, because I really like it. It's aesthetically appealing to me. Uh, I, I just like some of the design choices that the language designers have made. But also, it's a really good fit for media. Um, so you get the speed, the performance of languages like C and C++, manual memory management. Um, but you can also get memory safety, um, which is important if you care about security. Um, parsing media is non-trivial, and it's very easy to introduce a lot of very dangerous bugs uh, when you're doing manual memory management. But Rust has guardrails for that. So at compile time, it checks these things. So I wanted to do Media Over Quick in Rust. Around the time that I was starting this project, I learned that Luke Curley, who's one of the main authors of the draft, uh, was converting his warp proof of concept from Go into Rust and updating it to work with Media Over Quick, the latest version of the spec. So I joined him. Specifically, the things that I have worked on are MockPub, a command line tool to publish video using mock transport. It takes fragmented MP4 from standard input, and it puts it on the wire using the mock transport protocol and a warp-based streaming format, uh, which is GOP at a time delivery. Um, I have also extended that idea to something that I've been calling libmock, which is a CFFI wrapper around mockRS. Um, and Targeting first, integration with FFmpeg. Not trivial to do this. Um, the spec is evolving, has been evolving. The OO version of the spec, we built, uh, built to that, and we found some gaps. Um, so we weren't able to get interop around that version of the spec. As of today, there is an O1 draft that has now been submitted to the IETF data tracker. And that one we should be able to get good interop on. Um, because we've filled these gaps. 
Um, also had some challenges from the library itself evolving, learning async Rust, and working with legacy C. But I learned that Rust is a good fit for media. And I learned the value of having concrete implementation work in informing the design decisions that go into a protocol specification. Right, so you can show up in a room, you can whiteboard this stuff out, you can, you can reason it out in your head, but until you've sat down and tried to follow the spec and write an implementation, there are things that you, you can't anticipate. Um, so actually doing the work to, to do the implementation, you learn a lot and you have a much more informed perspective when you come to the table to discuss the design trade-offs in a protocol spec specification like Media Over Quick. And I also got to do a lot of new things. I got to work with fragmented MP4. I mentioned before I had done a lot of WebRTC before this, so I hadn't worked with you know, this, this CMAF uh, approach to video, um, and it was a lot of fun. And I got to write async Rust and integrate that with C. This is where those diagrams come from. This is a really great survey, especially if you're new to this industry and you wanna get your bearings on what, like, what are the trade-offs in low latency live delivery? Um, this is a pretty good summary of the state of the industry right now. Um, so I'd recommend checking that out. And to learn more about what I've been working on with Luke, um, please visit quick.video. Um, you can find all the source code for our open source Rust implementation and some demos. There's a, a live stream running with the bunny uh, right now. Thanks. Oh, one more thing. Go to Jordy's talk. Yeah.